Hello, and welcome to Free Will Tarot 1111. So, I, first of all, I want to say again, I want to thank the my new um, subscribers. As I've said, this is a new channel, so I just started it. So, I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't care if I only have whatever amount of uh, subscribers there are, may, under 20, I think. But I don't care. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited. It, it, it builds my energy um, even more. So thank you for being part of the Free Will Taro 1111 community. You guys are the first ones. So hang in there with me. As I've said before, I'm also Scorpio with several other Scorpio placements. Um, Mercury, Neptune. I can <laughs> have like two more. I could go into, but I'll go into them later um, at another time. So this is an energy reading. Nothing really specific here to come out in the energy. Um, I don't like to always make every reading too specific. I like it to be open. That's why it's called Free Will Taro, because you always have the choice to do whatever it is that you, whatever choices that you want to make. So um, I do call this Taro, but I use oracles as well to kind of bring a little comprehension to the um, to the reading. And um, and I also appreciate the, the, the people who watch and, you know, and just like, OK, with just having hands there because my because I don't show my face. I don't have the camera right in my face because I just don't feel like the, it's about me. It's really about the viewer and you guys. And, you know, I don't like it to be about me or my expressions or what's showing on my face and all these because I'm my face can show a lot of things. And I, <laughs> so this the cards is what's most important is my point. And I would just want you want the viewer to embrace the cards, embrace the message or messages that are being transmuted. Even if it's not resonating completely, I'm sure an oracle card or, or something would give you some sort of solace of, of some sort, you know, for today. It's just something, okay? We all just need a little bit of something. So I've gone on and on because it's a new channel and I'm trying to, I want to be able to show that I'm a real person. Okay, so let's start this reading. Uh, I'm going to start with the oracles at the top. Uh, this is an unstructured video. I mean, I'm um, reading in a way for Scorpio November. Welcome to Free Will Taro 1111. So here we go. Mm, two cards. Soulmate. All right. And bittersweet. Now I'm going to put you on hold and then I'm going to come right back because I want to get the meaning um, from the book right quick. Actually, I don't think I'd have to put you on hold, but I'd rather read um, exactly what it's saying, but not the whole chapter. Or whatever. I'm just going to read a, a little bit. Soulmate. This card indicates changes. No, this card indicates changing old communication patterns and being open to a new way of interacting. You may no longer be able to have conversations that don't um, sustain your authenticity. Freedom lies ahead better than you can imagine. So definitely about changes in your communication with others. Um, you may be put in another position. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more deeper um, as I go into the reading. Okay. Oh, bittersweet. Bittersweet. This is supposed to be the blue November blue. Um, these are um, wisdom, I mean, chakra cards. So it's called the wisdom of, ch of chakra, something like that. But um, 
yeah, this is the root chakra and this is the throat chakra. So in the book here, this is uh, referred to as the Blue November. There is an inner strength here helping you to rise above circumstances and do the right thing. It is time to set aside your personal agenda for the good of the group. The person you are becoming is capable of more than you imagine. Bittersweet. Wow. So you don't think the cards are going to say what you what it, you think they are. They're actually, that's why I wanted to read it. And I didn't want to say, oh, you're going to meet somebody and blah, blah, blah. Oh, now you're going to break up with somebody. No, bittersweet. So no, this just means that I feel here that there may be, you may be in a situation where you're going to have to um, take a leadership role of some sort for the betterment of the group. Okay, so I always shuffle before I start and, you know, the, that's why I'm not shuffling as hard for every um, time I pick the cards up, just so you know. Remembrance. All right, so I'm going to come back to that a little bit later because I know this card is indicating that there's someone, something from your past or something you're going to remember. Mm -hmm. Something that you may be already familiar with, I should say. Okay? So there's something you already are familiar with. Remembrance. Now I'm going to... This deck is not always that kind, but here we go. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just BS. Let that BS go. Can you forgive and let it go is basically what they're saying. You don't have to feel shame or regret or guilt, which could be things from your past. Bittersweet. You can still take these words literal. I mean, maybe it is something that eh, it had to end. It's not exactly the way I wanted it. But you don't have to feel regret or shame or guilt about anything. Those are unnecessary emotions. Now, I know I'm talking to Scorpios, and Scorpios, they know a lot of shit. Excuse my language, but you do. But, um, you know, for, for, for the younger, you young Scorpio, <laughs> you know, I'm here to help you. And for the cross watchers, too. If you're any cross watchers out there, got something to say, put it in the comments. Also, put your own astrological uh sign into the comments to help build the build the um the channel because i can keep on doing um scorpio readings all day long it don't bother me <laughs> they're not my readings that's the best thing about it i start knowing when they're not mine all right so what is this current energy for Scorpio at this time? What is the current energy? Oh, look at you. Hey, king of pentacles. Got your money together? You know what you going to do with your money? Mm-hmm. Yep, you've worked very hard to get to where you want to. At around this time in the birthday season, you, something about your money situation feels good to you. You okay? All right? Hmm. You may be the boss of something. Like I said be, in the beginning, there's some sort of leadership role that you may need to take or may be taking. Or you're the boss. Okay? Hmm. 
what is it that this is a um i'm going to do a spread uh, um, a specific spread this and i do this one quite a bit um the what you don't see and what you need to see spread and i do also do what i call a path a pathway spread so i'll i'll do the, that one another time but this is what is it that you don't see scorpio what is it that you don't see oh an opportunity ha ha nice king of pentacles ace of pentacles what is the purpose in this energy what is the purpose in this energy High Priestess, mm. to follow your intuition. What is it that you need to see, Scorpio? What is it that you need to see? Wow, look at that. Seven of Pentacles. Got a lot of Pentacles in here. And the Sublime Energy, the Queen of Swords. A decision that you probably need to make. Hmm. Current energy, you're running your business. Maybe you have a business, but it's, it's going to be doing pretty well. Or it's doing pretty well. There's some new opportunities coming your way. So if you're worried about something, maybe you're just in a kind of an emotional funk, maybe, with this shame and regret and guilt. You need to just forgive that and let it go from the past. There's a new opportunity coming your way. Follow your intuition is the purpose here. You don't see that this opportunity is coming. You don't see it. Okay. If you're worried about whether or not something is coming, rather not to invest in something any, anymore, Follow your intuition, High Priestess. You may not want to speak about everything right now either. Just keep yourself neutral and um, go with the flow. Use that energy of the High Priestess. Scorpios have plenty of, of intuition. Uh, intuition all day. Riding underneath this energy is the Queen of Swords. Clarity. It's also an energy here of making a decision about something. But you need to be very clear in your words, in your communication. Uh, fair. For the betterment of everyone. Stay grounded. Someone needs, may need your um, compassion. For something. Okay. About something I should say. So don't be too hard. On someone. For the betterment of the group. I feel that's a very strong statement. For the betterment of the group. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Before we get into that, let me do the cloud energy, um, which is the energy that rides above. This is the Serafina deck. I'll probably say this several times because it's a new channel. So if you've seen it in the other videos, I, I'm just saying it so people understand for new people. But this is um, only the um, higher arcanas. This is Serafina deck, so it only comes like this. It doesn't come in with all, with all the other cards. Some readers out there, they may already know this, I'm sure. And um, I use this as a elevated energy or cloud energy, I usually call it, to look that kind of is over this energy. Okay, it's like the bigger energy. Um, I also use these uh, for a certain spread that I do which I will do in the future. Okay, so show me. Mm. Okay, Magician and 
the um, strength card. One more. Okay. Okay. Magician. So something you've been manifesting is, um, I think, coming. <laughs> this opportunity. Yeah. You've been quite focused on the money situation lately. Also, the magician is about communication, about using your mind, um, your voice. Hmm. I feel like this cap, this, I'm sorry, this uh, king of pentacles is representing this root energy of the soulmate. I just felt like I need to say that. Yeah, you're you, something's developing. And um, you need to be able to clearly communicate. Okay. Next, we have strength. Just pound your way through it. Just get through it. Whatever it is, keep your emotions in check and just walk through whatever you need to walk through. Stay strong. I feel like that's relating to that shame, guilt, and regret card. Star. Time to stay. Um, no, that's not what. No. Um, <laughs> why was I going to say it's time to stay grounded? I better just complete that sentence because that may be a message for someone. Time to stay grounded. But the star card... <laughs> That's <laughs> what we're talking about. Um, it's also an energy, you know, of, of staying grounded, I guess. Um, but it's about working between, also, it's about working between your consciousness and your subconsciousness. This is an energy of healing and hope. Okay? You hope and you heal. But you do need to ground yourself, I feel, in order to heal. Again, I'm feeling like it's connected to this card. So it's a Scorpio out there that's feeling this energy. Need to press her through and continue to manifest something because it is coming through for you. You just don't need to spread it out there too much yet. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles, please. King, King of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Trying to make a decision. Okay. It's a decision with the Swords. It's a decision to cut something out. To release some burdens. Ten of uh, pentacles, I mean, I'm sorry, ten of wands, reversed, two of swords. Yeah. Usually, I mean, the ten of sword, the ten of wands reversed is the energy of the burdens are already down. You didn't carry them. You didn't held on to them. You didn't done all the stuff. And, you know, they it's down. you didn't drop them down. That's basically what the ten of wands reversed is doing. But you made a decision to do this. Are you going to make a decision to do this? Are you had to make the decision to do this? To drop those burdens. They're not hanging on you now. You can see that there will be an opportunity coming your way. It was bittersweet in this burdens of the Ten of Wands. Something was bittersweet in there. Okay. Okay, Ace of, Pent Ace of Pentacles. This is what you do not see. What you do not see. Claire. Ah, look at that. Sun. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ooh, Page of Wands. Yeah, the pa Page of Wands and the Sun. You ready for a new adventure? New ideas are coming to you. Something new is coming. 
it even could come in a message, an opportunity, but it's something real. It's something that you can touch. I feel like you're breaking through a wall of some sort, a block, or you will be. But you need to pre persevere through with the strength card, fortitude. Just be strong and get through it. Heal. Put determination into this energy. Okay? What is the high priestess saying? Or doesn't want to say? <laughs> what does the high priestess doesn't want to say for Scorpio? Oh, wow. That was quick. Queen of Cups. Well, oh, wow. Okay. Two of Cups and the Chariot on the side. You may be having a difficult time moving forward through something. Maybe because shame, regret, and guilt can all be just these anchors. And you need strength. You know what I mean? It's like these anchors on you. Because the, the chariot upright means you're moving. But this side energy, hmm, you may be doing a little bit of struggling to get through something. Finding it hard to, to move your ideas forward. But I feel like that's clearing up. This is what you don't see. The purpose here is to move yourself forward with the chariot. To make decisions that's best for your heart and your desires. With the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. All this flow energy, this water energy. All flows from the High Priestess. The Queen of Cups is saying to use your intuition. It's more stronger now than ever. It's going to push you forward. Go with the flow. Okay, don't overthink and overanalyze Seven of Pentacles. Why is that here? It's something you need to see, Emperor, but it's reversed. Wow. Okay, what else? Ah. Oh. And the justice card. Listen, <laughs> we have Aries and Libra right here opposing each other. Some sort of opposition. Hmm. On the decisions that you make, if there may be opposition, if um, in what you decide you want to invest in to or not. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is trying to um, formulate is rather than not to continue to invest in something or not. The emperor reverse is saying, it's giving me the feeling that you don't feel as much in control. You may not have a plan or a very strong plan. Um, you're not doing anything about it. There's no action. Also, it's the energy of just letting go and don't try to control it. But with the justice card here as well, there's a sense of balance, but it's a very strong decision that needs to be made. And maybe you don't feel that, that confident about it, but the strength card is about confidence. So this is also saying Take confidence in what in what you need to take control of. You need to have a plan for something. Get the plan written. Because the justice card is saying, um, dot all your dot I's, cross all your T's. It's a very legal energy. So you have to make sure you have everything right. Do you have everything right? I don't know. <laughs> Is this something to think about, Scorpio? Okay. That's what you need to see. Mm. 
It's a very practical energy there. Okay. Queen of Swords, also about making, like I said earlier, making clear decisions. Wow. Ace of Wands, beautiful. So something new. Okay. Four of Cups and a Magician. All right. There we go. Beautiful energy here. Look, look. This Four of Cups is almost feels to me about what you need to see. You've waited a long time. You may have gone through a lot of rejection. You may have been rejecting in your head things not satisfying, feeling shame, regret, guilt. As you look at the Three of Cups um, in the original Rider Way Smith deck, as you watch the Three of Cups spilt over, and then there's one are sitting there, but you're just looking at them like, hmm, I don't know. I don't really like this. And then here comes the fourth cup. And I feel like that's what's happening now. This ace of wands. That's your fourth cup. Some sort of inspiration, idea, something you've been manifesting. So the cloud energy of the magician here comes into this energy. That's a synchronicity for me and my readings. That someone should pay attention to um, what's happening here. It's okay to watch these videos more than one time. because I don't know if you get it all in one shot. But whatever you've been rejecting is something new is coming your way. Something you've been taking your time to manifest. Don't doubt anything. Be very clear in your manifestation. It's very important that you communicate that um, into the world, into how you want to be treated and how you should treat others. What is the advice here for Scorpio? I love doing this for Scorpio. Or any sign. Just put your sign in the um, comments and um, I'll start doing readings. <laughs> but I'm not going to go through all 12 um, signs all at once. I, it's just too much. I'd rather do this when I'm, I, when I'm clear and it doesn't feel like it's work. Where I'm just like enjoying it and the energy is just flowing. And now my energy has a purpose. OK, because it's a new channel, like I've said. <laughs> so I'm new. I'm not new at Taro, but I'm new at all this. OK. All right. So here we go. Advice. Look at this again. Speak up again about something you communicate. Very strong communication. You're you need to be confident about what you're saying and what you going to do. Make sure you've dotted your dots and crossed your T's that your plan is correct. Whatever you're manifesting, get the guilt out, get the shame out, get the um, all those old garbage type of feelings out of your way. It's time that you open yourself up. This is for a certain Scorpio, not all Scorpios. That's why this, my readings aren't meant to go so deep that it's meant to be pointing at, you know, one person. But every anybody and everybody can get something out of this, that, out of a reading at some point in time. OK, so here we go. Advice. Speak up. What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. Next one. Check in. When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering. <laughs> take a moment to check in. With how you feel about it. Uh, 
Do, do you feel lighter or heavier? Excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guide. It's always so helpful. Wow. So there we are, Scorpio. I hope this message finds you and gives you um, inspiration and lets you know that you're not alone in this world and that there's actually energies out here that you can't always see, but they care about you. Okay, so may light always follow you and please subscribe. Hit the note. You know what to do. (laughs) You know what to do and put some comments in there. Nice stuff. (laughs) Thank you. And may light always follow you.